And joining us now is Dan Butner, the New York Times bestselling author and founder of Blue Zones. It's an organization seeking to provide people with the tools to live longer, healthier, and happier lives. Thanks so much for joining us tonight, Dan, from Miami. I'm delighted. Well, in your new book, The Blue Zone Challenge, you provide a four-week guide to those looking for a longer, better life, and that's pretty much all of us. Uh, you model your guide off of so-called blue zones. Can you first break down for us what those blue zones are? Yeah, so it was a National Geographic project to reverse engineer longevity. And because only 20% of how long you live is dictated by your genes, the other 80% is something else, we found the statistically longest lived places in Sardinia, Italy, Okinawa, Japan, the island of Ikaria, Greece, the Nicoya Peninsula of Costa Rica, and among the Seventh-day Adventists in the uh, United States here. And then over the next decade, we searched for the common denominators or the correlates. And we believe we found a, a pretty convincing set of guidelines and, and wisdom distilled from people who've achieved the outcomes we want. And we're just uh, clicking through some of the images of you hanging out with those clearly um, uh, long-lived people in these various parts throughout the globe. Uh, you begin your book by breaking down the power of nine that you describe to be the habits of the world's healthiest and longest living people. And these are people, as you mentioned, from people from Greece, Japan, Costa Rica. What are those commonalities that you discovered in your research? Yeah, so these are people who are not suffering from diabetes and heart disease and many of the cancers that are foreshortening our lives. And you see, they don't exercise as much as they live in environments where they're nudged into movement every 20 minutes or so. So walkable communities, they have gardens out back, they, their houses aren't full of conveniences, they have sacred daily rituals to reduce the stress of everyday life. 65% of, of their dietary intake comes from complex carbohydrates. This is largely a whole food, plant-based diet. And, and by the way, eating this way can confer about six extra years of life expectancy over eating the standard American diet. So less processed food, clearly. Now give us a sense of some of those rituals that you talked about. That's intriguing to me. What are those things that, that help with longevity? Yeah, so every time you're in a hurry or feel worried or stressed, it triggers the inflammatory response, and inflammation is at the root of every major age-related disease. So in Okinawa, they spend a few minutes every day remembering their ancestors, where they came from. In uh, Costa Rica, what we're looking at now, they tend to take a nap. Same with Greece, what we're looking at right now. Uh, taking a nap uh, five days a week is associated with about a third uh, lower rate of cardiovascular disease. And then in uh, the Advent, just say, just say prayer. They tend to start their day and their meals with the prayer. And that, in its own way, is meditation as well. Uh, the Sardinians just do happy hour, which, believe it or not, is a good way to downshift. And this is Sardinia right here. I see. And I see, you know, the happy hour wine cooler behind you. I see you're taking your practice <laughs> <laughs> as well Soon as... after uh, this interview. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And so what do you think makes these places so special? Is there anything scientifically different about these blue zones? You know, they say they have the same genes we have. Uh, they have the same level of discipline and self-control. But what they have that we don't is environments that make the healthy choice the easy choice. And this is the big insight because we tend to think, especially with the holidays coming up, that we're gonna make New Year's resolutions and get on a new diet. And no diet in the history of the world has ever worked for more than 3% of the people after two years. The reason people in blue zones are living a long time is because the, the healthiest food is cheapest and most accessible. I'm dying to know how you suggest we inject purpose into our lives, but short of moving to Greece, which after looking at that video I want to do, you ask readers to give the plan 30 days. What specific right. things can people do in 30 days that you think will help people live longer? Yeah, the first, I, I'm not gonna ask them to dip into self-control. I'm gonna ask them to shape their surroundings. And the big thing though is to really pay attention to your immediate social circle, those three or four friends that you spend the most time with. We know that if your three best friends are obese and unhealthy, there's a 150% better chance that you'll be overweight yourself. So we're gonna show you how to curate your social circle to have a few more friends whose idea of recreation is walking or playing pickleball. Uh, it's eating plant-based and people who care about you on a bad day. And that's probably the most powerful thing you can do for the future 
uh, to change your healthy habits because when it comes to longevity, there's no short-term fix. There's no pill, there's no supplement, there's no superfood. Uh, if you're not gonna do something for years or decades, it's not gonna add years to your life. And the Blue Zone Challenge takes you over the course of four weeks, holds you by the hand and shows you how to engineer your surroundings so you will unconsciously make the better choice all day long. I have to say that with the new year right around the corner, many of us are gonna make resolutions to live a healthier, more meaningful new year. And yet so often people struggle to make that lasting change, right? What advice would you give someone who's looking for long-term change in the new year? Well, it goes back again to, to, to not thinking you're gonna change your behavior. We never successfully change your behavior, uh, but uh, shaping your environment, so again, we're asking you to engineer your surroundings, not trying to change your mind, not tr asking you to be disciplined, not asking you to exert inhuman self-control. Well, Dan, I've been scribbling notes the entire time you've been talking. Thank you, Dan Buettner. Your new book, The Blue Zone Challenge, is available wherever books are sold. Thanks for joining us. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.